the Kenya Secondary Schools Heads Association, 45th Annual Conference has kicked off in Mombasa at the Sheikh Zayed Hall. Over 9,000 schools' heads will be gracing the conference which has resumed after two years break due to COVID-19 pandemic. Kesha's chairman Kahindi Muli says the conference will be majorly focusing on the rising funding for schools, a perennial issue that has gone unchecked, a raising agency for permanent solutions. We'll be looking and trying to address on a number of issues. Key amongst them is uh, funding of um, the education sector. In this funding, uh, we are trying to look at um, is uh, capitation uh, enough uh, to manage the challenges that the schools have. Uh, can we bring in other critical uh, stakeholders to support in the funding of education? He noted that there is a need to bridge the infrastructure gap in schools as they prepare to welcome CBC Pioneer in junior secondary next year. Improvement of infrastructure uh, and the rest. Here we are talking of key stakeholders as the parents. What role uh, are they expected to play? Uh, this is what we will be trying to discuss and uh, coming forward uh, to it. Indimuli has also questioned the government response to recent cases for schools unrest, saying there is a dire need for developing a blueprint to deal with offenders. Parliament must also come up. Ministry of Education must come up with rules and regulations to manage the Children's Act in education institutions. It is not there. That is why you will find uh, uh, the students will walk scot-free whenever they make mistakes in schools. Because there is no regulations. If you look at the Children's Act, they have a responsibility towards their parents and a responsibility towards their nation. But there is no responsibility towards educational institutions. So they can break up things, they can burn their schools, and they'll walk scot-free because nothing ties them. Frederick Kaike, 24, Mombasa.